dividing decimals and whole numbers by 10, 100, and 1,000. To divide decimals by 10, 100, or 1,000, move the decimal point to the left as many places as there are zeros in the divisor. 10, one place, 100, two places, 1,000, three places, etc. Fill in as many zeros as needed to get the correct number of decimal places. Example, 3.5 divided by 10. The 10 has one zero, therefore the decimal point must be moved one place to the left. 3.5, move the decimal point one place to the left, equals 0.35. Therefore, 3.5 divided by 10 equals 0.35. Another way to do this problem is to divide 3.5 by 10. The first thing we need to do is place the decimal point in the answer above the decimal point that is located in the problem. Next, we will divide 10. We're not going to 3. Then we divide 10 into 35. 10 will go into 35 three times. 3 times 10 is 30. Subtract 5. Add a 0 on the end. Bring the 0 down. 10 will divide into 50. 5 times. 5 times 10 is 50. Therefore, 3.5 divided by 10 equals 0.35. Example number two, 6.8 divided by 100. The 100 contains two zeros. Therefore, in order to divide 6.8 by 100, the short way would, we would move the decimal point two places to the left. 6.8, moving the decimal point two places to the left, one, two, add a zero to fill the space in, Erase the original point, and the answer is 0 .068. Therefore, 6.8 divided by 100 equals 0 .068. Another way to do this problem is to divide 6.8 by 100. 6.8 divided by 100. Step one, we have to place the decimal point in the answer directly above the decimal point that is in the problem. 100 will divide into 68 zero times. Zero times 100 is zero. Subtract, we get 68. Add a zero, bring the zero down. 100 divided into 680, we go six times. Six times 100 is 600. Subtract, we get 80, add a zero, Bring it down 100, we'll divide 800, 8 times, 8 times 100 is 800. Subtract 800 from 800, we get 0. Therefore, 6.8 divided by 100 equals 0 .068. Example number 3, 45.2 divided by 1,000. The 1,000 contains three zeros. Therefore, when I divide 45.2, by 1,000, I would move the decimal point three places to the left. 45.2, move the decimal point three places to the left. One, two, three, add a zero to fill the space, erase the original decimal point. Therefore, 45.2 divided by 1,000 equals 0 .0452. When dividing whole numbers by 10, 100, or 1,000, place a decimal point to the right of the whole number. This does not change its value. Then move the decimal point the same number of places to the left as there are zeros. For example, 45 divided by 10. The 10 contains one zero. Therefore, the decimal point must be moved one place to the left. 45. It is understood that the decimal point is located behind the 5. Move the decimal point one place to the left. Erase the original decimal point. Therefore, 45 divided by 10 is equal to 
4.5. 77 divided by 100. The 100 contains two zeros. Therefore, the decimal point must be moved two places to the left. 77, the decimal point is understood to be behind the second 7. Therefore, we must move it two places to the left. 1, 2. Erase the original decimal point. Therefore, 77 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.77. 98 divided by 1,000. The 1,000 contains three zeros. Therefore, the decimal point must be moved three places to the left. 98, the decimal point is understood to be behind the 8. Move the decimal point three places to the left. 1, 2, 3. We must add a zero to fill in this space between the decimal point and the 9. Erase the original decimal point. Therefore, 98 divided by 1,000 is equal to 0 0.098. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.